not liking this. That's what I can say. Yes, the stream is not liking it at it's all. It's because I have, there are two people beneath me, both watching something on something that requires internet. Yes. Yeah. No, I know that. Oh, come on. Is it actually loading for you? Is stream it doing is. better? It is. I I have audio in the stream for a little while so we can hear. I'll hear if it cuts out. Perfect. Thank you very much. You're welcome for let you're welcome for putting up with the fucking double double audio. Well, thank you. I'll always appreciate it. All right, so back to upgrades. Yeah. I mean, like, we gotta okay. get her drone up, obviously. Yes, the combat drone. Yes! Do we make it explode or give it more shields? Mmm. Shields. Let's see. Short range attack deals 250 points of damage. Or it's just more shields and damage. What's. Oh gosh. <laughs> What's the short range attack already? The deal 215 across 2.5 meter radius. Drone no, stuns enemy. The, what is it already right now? What is base? Is it just 86? Yes. I don't know. That looks, that's like a natural attack attack. So yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I, guess I think shields and nice. damage. Yeah. This is the combat drone, so that's fine. Drone with a long rocket that deals a lot of damage. Or upgrade it to pulse to jump and hit three additional targets. Ooh. Hmm. I vote chain lightning because it's a D and D spell. <laughs> chain lightning because it's a D and D spell. You know what? That's fair. <laughs> D and D it is. Now the defense drone, the duration. The attack range, probably duration. Duration. Drones attack rate by 50. Increase damage by 100 and attack range by 60. Ooh. Damage and range, probably. How often does it attack? I don't know. This one's the defense drone. Mm. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Uh, chance of 30% knockdown electrocuted enemy. Damage up to two additional nearby targets. And that more chain lightning. More chain lightning. Tally, you have a lightning drone now. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, there's only seven points left. Oh, no. Oof. And that's fine. Uh, energy drain or sabotage. Energy drain does more stuff to barrier and shield. That is like hacking synthetics and oh. affected weapons overheat i remember the overheat feature it wasn't fun to like have it, it used against fun. me but i think that was also mass effect one it was it was mostly mass effect one sabotage is pretty fun i'm gonna be honest i spent the almost the entire game i was playing uh hacking synthetics and making them fighting for me i know sounds great duration by 50. Yee. Perfect, let's go. Also, Tally had a gold and seven crusader. I'm jealous. We're approaching the quarry at home. <laughs> ETA to Rannox, five minutes. What have you got from the convoys? Okay, I'm gonna minimize the stream. It seems to be It seems to be better. I have detected better. several hundred unique ship signatures engaged in active. Not minimize, but mute the stream. Yes. Yeah, like I said. Take us in, Joker. I say just keep an eye on it. Mm-hmm. Stealth driving gate. Only way they'll detect us is if you all start singing the Russian national anthem. I'll start singing a Joker. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I don't think we want them to detect us. We don't. Yep, and this this is like a Star Wars scene right here. Mm -hmm. Love a good Star Wars scene. Love a good just ship battle scene in space. Oh yeah.
Also, did anyone put a message in chat? Not yet. Okay. Because, like, when I partly went down, I saw a red message yelling, like, new. And I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> I mean, I just put one in chat. I saw. So, technically. Hello, Abby. <laughs> Welcome to chat. Hello, Brandon. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Tally's our expert on guest software. She'll be handling hacking and security. Good to have you back, Tally. It feels weird looking at Garrus with that helmet. It is a bit wonky. Dr. Michelle did get me some dextro amino chocolate. You're welcome to it once we're back. She got you Turian chocolate? She said she saw it and thought of me. Why? Watch yourself, Shepard. Too risky for the whole team. I'll secure the docking area. Everyone else can follow me over. Roger that, Commander. We'll just stay Good. Here. I get to use a bunch of throw. You do. It'll just be a minute. So they did they actually make me go alone? Yeah. How dare they? Oh, it's this part of the mission. I forgot about this. Let <laughs> me let, 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 let me run. Don't no. make me walk. Let me run. Not allowed. You gotta walk. I will say I'm going to abandon you during this part because one, it's boring. Two, I want ice cream. Oh, bring me some, please. I can't. <laughs> please. I can't. I'm begging you. No, no. it's all good. <laughs> oh, no, this way. I'll just be a minute as they see me walking here. It's like, this is going to be several hours, honestly. Mass Effect Juniper has some crazy ice cream flavors. The lack of gravity is a little disorienting. Honestly? I, I think I can agree, Jacob. Nice. Man, what kind of ice cream flavors do you think they'd have? You brought up a good question, Jacob. Boing, boing, boing. Oh, there's the cutscene. Man, that almost disconnected from me. Looks like the rest of the team isn't using the docking tube. No, really? I will solo the dreadnought, but give me Tally at least. Ask Tally to get on the dreadnought schematics. If she can point me at another docking tube, I'll override the controls and let the boarding party on. Hey, look, it gives me my gun. The N7 Crusader. Of which I actually got to make a reference to in real life the other day. To someone who had not watched my streamed. Their streams, not streamed. Which sucks, but I mean, it's what it is. Not everyone watches. If everyone in the world watched my stream, gosh, I, I think that, that'd be so weird. That being said, it will not happen. Or at least should not happen. Jump. Open door. Yeah, come on. Any collectibles? No? Let's continue. What was... Oh, that's the other door closing behind me. I found another airlock. I think we're good to go. Great. If you override the controls, we'll be right there. The controls are up there. But also the thing, Abby's not bringing me ice cream when she comes back. Like, how dare she? Wow, they really made me get out my gun for nothing. They were like, yeah, listen, we're not going to throw enemies at you until you have your team. Yeah, Tally, you're on a dreadnought, a geth dreadnought. We can take samples later. See any action? Not yet. I'm sure you can help me find them. Here, let me see if I can get this open. In the meantime, take a look at this. I really like this armor they put on her. There, it's open. We're clear to go. 
I never had these option, these armor options. Of course, they're scheduled, like AI programmed to walk here. I have returned. Ah, uh, welcome back. Jacob asked a good thing in chat. Or like he mentioned it. What kind of ice cream flavors mm. do you think they have in the Mass Effect universe? Fucking all of them. I know, but like imagine how much more they have. I know. I bet... I bet the sorry flavors are all like really flowery. Oh yeah, that sounds like them. They'd be the <laughs> ones that probably like go to Starbucks. Mm -hmm. Was that mean? No. Nope. Okay. I just kind of agree with you. Fair. Thank you. 100%. The species besides human that likes ice cream the most is definitely the Krogan, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, they were still talking. Thought they were done. I'm impressed by the cow, like how versatile it is. You get milk, cheese, leather, and meat from those things. Honestly, it's pretty great. Well, it is pretty great. I was also reading a thing. Um, so Brandon, you know that one of my favorite things uh, to read when I'm particularly bored and I want a good laugh is humans are space orcs or humans yeah, are the weird ones. One. Like we get to we get to space and we figure out we're the weird ones and everybody else is pretty fucking normal. Yes. Um, somebody pointed out, like, yeah, our animals. We've we've selectively bred certain traits into animals to make farming easier, and stuff like that. We did that with corn and all of our crops as well. Like, we did. do you think do you think most of the alien species would be like, wow, this is really cool? It's like, yeah, we experimented with the the plants' genetics to make them better, but not our own because we that's taboo. <laughs> yeah, really. about to say like I'm gonna come and shoot you but you already died due to the drone mm -hmm. because tally drone OP <laughs> yeah there was another um there's another really interesting humans are weird concept of um this one is like the most um it's a fairly recent concept that a lot of people picked up on what if humans are like one of the only predator species to make it to space flight <laughs> to to galactic travel like we get there and everybody else is like prey species and we're just like the scariest thing to them and we just we, we're humans yeah <laughs> to us it's normal but to them they're like oh my gosh how are they so terrifying <laughs> yeah <laughs> how, there, what there the fuck a, there was a trap on the ground mm-hmm Yeah, we're like, we get to space and we're like, man, how did so many prey animals become spacefaring? Wouldn't you guys just have gotten Destru hunted down by all yeah. the other predators on your planets or whatever? And then we get to space and all the prey species look at us and go, how the fuck did a predator species make it off their planet? Don't they just care about killing shit? <laughs> Archon visor. New mm -hmm. helmet that I won't wear. Yeah. Why do they have armor like for like me on their ship? Sensor data. Any sign of how the Quarians are doing? I mean fair point. Heavy losses. The Geth have a planetary defense cannon. It's ripping through our fleet. Planetary defense cannon. Just make yeah. a sacrifice worthwhile. That's that's sad, Tally. Come on. Happy thoughts here. We're in the end game. I'll be honest, mm -hmm. I think I remember on my first playthrough, I think I did the Asari first, which I think, you know, is fine. There's no specific yeah. order. Why do we need to find the no. operations center? Wouldn't any access console do? No. Anything we do here, the guest would counter. Too many fault checks and redundancy levels for what we need to do. Geth pulse rifle. I feel See, like that it... one makes sense. That one makes sense to be on the on the guest ship. It does. 
the Archon Visor, does it? The Dreadnought mm -mm. Operations Center is just ahead. Good. Let's cut the Reaper signal and get the fleet out of here. My gun went through the door before I did. Of would course. Like, would like to point that out. I was about to say, isn't that one Legion? And then I re realized, oh wait. Isn't that one Legion? You know, because I'm used to him going invisible. Oh, hi there. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Oh. Now. You know what I just thought of? I don't know if Jacob's still in the chat or not or listening to this bit. There is, like, a cow like animal that you can find on one of the planets in Mass Effect 1. It's like really weird. It's like bright orange and it has, you know, it's vaguely shaped like a cow, except it's got like little T Rex arms as well. Nice. <laughs> I nearly just shot you, Garrus. <laughs> I think that's neat though. I think I remember seeing that. Unless yep. it was a thing you actually had to go like search for. That was a trap. It was a side mission. I think it was just called a space cow. <laughs> Pick up everything else before the main thing. Okay, cool. Let's go. Uh, it's sorry. It's not a space cow. It's the mission with the shifty looking cow. Do you remember how hard we laughed at that? <laughs> I do. <laughs> it is a space cow found on the planet Onteram in the Newton system of the Kepler Verge. I remember the space cow. It was great. On another, on an otherwise normal, an otherwise normal member of the species. You know, I should probably stop talking. This is pretty really important. It's all good. Okay, Garrus, use your strength. Show off. Fire. Really, Tally. Thank you. Yes. Okay, I've got Prime. But be ready. I'm reading hostile gas on the other side of the door. These doors are another doors. <laughs> sure. Also, like I understand why they would care about fire, but also like why would they care about fire? Because it would destroy parts of the ship that fire can still melt pieces of the things that keep the ship running. Yeah, but also like. Just have fire running at all times. Okay. And otherwise, sorry, back to the shifty looking cow. An otherwise normal member of the species, talking to it does uh, also does nothing. However, on seeing Commander Shepard, it starts following them around. On reaching a close enough distance, it steals the Spectre's credit slowly. Oh, I remember you talking about this before. As long as Shepard doesn't turn around to face it, the cow continues its activities, whether it's stalking Shepard or siphoning their money. <laughs> right there, Garrus. I need that. No, that hit the Tri wrong enemy. Trivia about the cow. The cow can be killed with a single shot, but will disappear and respawn in a few moments. Doing so does not recover any lost credits. <laughs> yep. According to the post by lead technical designer Dusty Everman on the official Mass Effect forums, the Shifty Cow's Easter Egg's nature is as followed. I love the history of the Shifty Cow Easter Egg. When the character artist designed the space cow with two extra arms, Preston, our lead designer, was a little creeped out. His comment was, you can't trust any animal that can milk itself. <laughs> Those extra little hands look so crabby. So Preston came up with the idea of Shifty Cow. Turn your back on him and those creepy little hands are going to go to work. Kiss those credits goodbye. <laughs> yeah, really. Are you talking about colors? They're adorable. 
Mm-hmm. They're pretty great. They're pretty great. They are. I... <laughs> They're one of my favorite side romances. I haven't seen it, but you told me about it, and it definitely yep. sounds great. Almost sounds really like I want to start up a third one of Romance Liara because I haven't, and then watch them in the background. Mm hmm. Oh no. God. Mm. Yeah, they're out there fighting a war, and we're in here like, hey, we're fighting, or we're trying to get the Reaper Gord disabled. Yeah. Like, I understand how it's important, but also, like, it's not as important as just, like, you could just blow them up and save the Quarians. <laughs> but I understand the. There was. Was that a math? Was that a Reaper beam? Mm hmm. Oh, Bubble boy. Boop. Or it's the planetary defense. Or it's that. Yeah. You know, that makes more sense. Isn't this a thing where I gotta, like, run into cover every now and then to just not get hit by it and immediately die? Yep. Sorry, those geth came out of the ground? Yeah, I should take mm -hmm. cover. It feels weird seeing Tally with the N7 Crusader. Because I don't know if she's actually hitting. Like, I want to believe her. But, like, you know, the, she's shooting it like as a shotgun. It's hard <laughs> to tell. <laughs> Right, dead guys. Ping, ping. You're right there. And now you're right there. Oh, I think you're hacked. Too bad for you. Garrus, you doing okay back there? <laughs> ah, that hurt. Well, I someone's mean, down, have... and it's a good reason for me to use first aid. <laughs> yeah. What are we saying? You have. Um, my, my stupid decision brain, uh, distracted me from responding to the comment you made about romancing Liara till this point. <laughs> Gosh, that was uh, a while. I, I was, it was a while ago, I was looking up Corian facts and my brain just went, you know, my next playthrough I'm going to be romancing Tally, so I'm going to have to start a fourth playthrough to see the man. <laughs> see the... <laughs> I... God, my brain. Your brain. This would make a cool D and D map. It would. Also, like have that wave that keeps going through. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. do stuff to people. Like have mm -hmm. it drain one spell slot at a time. If they're not in full cover. Yeah. Oh, right, I forgot that actually does do damage to my shields. <laughs> yep. I should have remembered, but, like, somehow it just slipped my mind. Mm-hmm. Get... Uh, excuse me. No ladder for you. Also, how can Why you... Why are you throwing him? Why? Because I, I was... just got his shields down. No. Oh. Yeah, I can't throw them if they have shields. You know this. Brandon. Yes? This is gonna hurt. <laughs> oh, 
Tally. Tally, no. And it speeds up, powers up. Mm -hmm. Blast through. Or not. There it is. There it is. You'll figure out the timing in a bit. How did you get behind us? Garrus, get him. Garrus, you were right in front of him. Garrus, get him. Uh, Alright, Brandon. What am I drinking tonight? Ooh. What do you have? I need to know um, options. It's all Smirnoff, because we got a bunch of Smirnoff in. Uh, I have pink lemonade. Uh, Smirnoff Original Ice, which is like a citrusy. Um, I'm not gonna do the creamsicle one because I had that last night and I didn't really like it. Or berry, bl so pink lemonade, citrus, crisp, pink lemonade, crisp citrus, or berry blast. Pink lemonade. Okay. Because I know from experience, I just love pink lemonade. It's great. It's great. Oh, great. Now we get to do this with them. Mm -hmm. No, wait. It, it's not turning on me. We're good. Just tank it, Shepard. Yeah, yeah. Because that's possible. You never know. Watch your shield. Stick to cover. Thank you, Tally. I oh, should have remember that when I don't get in cover. I'm sorry, wh what? What? You saw that too, right? Yeah. Oh, that's I don't why know what I saw. Tally hacked one of the rocket and he shot his other rocket friend. Okay. Oh, what best way to hack someone. Just like, hey, what's a thing worse than your worst enemy? Your friend. Oh. Mm -hmm. Dual rockets, not good. Dual rockets. Let's crack this open. I think the pink lemonade one is the only one that I've actually finished. Ah, fair. I got maybe two- I got maybe a third of the way through the creamsicle one before I gave up on it. Nice. Sorry, I was saying nice to my throw. But also, very good for you. Even if you didn't finish it fully. <laughs> Hi, Tally. Tally getting covered. Did you hear that hum? Yeah. Yep, that's... Uh, you hear that hum, get to cover. You hear that hum, don't get in cover. Got it. Yes, get in cover. If you hear that hum, get into cover. Tally, you're just in there. <laughs> like, I mean, I know you went down, but like, congrats for getting in there. He is using the shotgun, right? The N7. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, like, you have it. You have her using the shotgun. Yes. That rocket went so wide. I think it went for Garrus. Hmm. You. Shock. Blam, blam. Oh, you're so, you were, you, oh, come on. I'm, hi, Garrus. You having fun there? I bet he is. There it is. 
Oh, that guy was still live on the ground. Mm -hmm. Where am I going now? Uh, game? Probably where that trap is. <laughs> what happened? Did you see how quickly she rounded the corner, did a 180, and left around the corner? Nope. I did not. Oh my god. Where am I supposed to go? This is more annoying because I have to wait for this thing, too. Go explore. It feels like it'd be a computer console pad or something. Right? I don't remember where you're supposed to go here. They're NPCs. They're fine. They don't have to worry about the blast. <laughs> yeah, no, they're fine. Uh, so like all the fighting was happening there mm -hmm. so it feels like it should be there but uh I think it's shown up you're at the core right yes Not at the core yet. You're getting to the core. Yes. Long hallway. Maintenance override. Ink fly back and cover and pick off the dozens of get that come at uh, come at you. Only proceed from one cover spot to the next when the hunters are gone. At the end of the hall is a ramp on the left side that leads to a door you can interface with. Ah. Let's just hope I don't have to redo all that. Yeah. Well. So over here, door you can interact with. Literally the one thing I missed. <laughs> That door like closed immediately. I don't like that. Hmm. Hmm. Elevator fight scene. Is this what this is? Hmm. Just let me jump down. <laughs> no. Dog roll. Dog roll. Oh, cutscene. No armor for me. Nope. Yeah, you know, what they're doing makes complete sense. Shoot the elevator. Stop us from going up. Mm -hmm. Go, go, go! Can I actually die? I don't know. I think it would have been nice to find out. If you say so. Lost a game. Real life would not have been nice. Come on. The no. Definitely not. I just remembered what was in the drive car. Mm. I guess Prime? Oh, totally. Because, I mean, if anywhere feels like it has one, it's definitely there. Mm -hmm. Geth Primes are fun. Fun? Fun. Level Geth, up. Geth Primes are fun. Oh, you can finish out your lift grenade! <laughs> yeah. Slam floating targets to the ground as lift wears off. Stunning. That's hilarious. What's the other one? Increased damage and impact radius. I think I think the top one's hilarious. It is. <laughs> and look at that. I got a full thing. Woo! Oh, gosh. Can I get more? I don't think you can. Okay, Tally, you have five, so let's get level five sabotage. Explosive hack. Just explode when they're destroyed. 
Five hundred and seven points of damage. Oh. Point fifty. Point fifty across a four meter radius. Or Maybe. recharge speed to eleven point four from twelve point seven. Uh, I mean, that damage is... is way better. Yeah. Garrus, you have three. No oh, proximity mine. Now we or save. We could save up save for, for a consecutive <laughs> shot. Okay. I would say he uses that a bit, but he actually uses his overload more because I use it that way I don't have to waste mine. And the, yeah. Nice this music. Heartbreaking. Oh, I actually remember, I think, seeing this on Tumblr. Like, as of recently. It's my boy! Shepard Commander, help us. Shepard Commander! We'll have you out of there in no time. Shepard, wait. The Geth are being controlled by the Reaper signal. Right. This thing. So for all we know, Legion is with them. Maybe it sided with the Reapers voluntarily. Or maybe attacked. I trust Legion! I don't. <laughs> I do! He's a baby! There's no way I would have agreed to this. Your caution is understandable. Once free, we will submit to any restraints you deem necessary. I never thought I'd say this, but it's good to see you again. Likewise, Creator Zora. So what is this thing? Creator Zora. It uses our networking mm -hmm. architecture to broadcast the old machine command signal to all Geth simultaneously. Then getting you out of there will shut off the Reaper signal. You can't simply remove the restraints. We have secured via hardware blocks nearby the Sakala operating protocols. The hardware blocks are on the far side of the room. Uh huh. Far side of the room, you said? Yes. The activation should be simple. Just wanted to freak you out. The first thing I'm doing when I get to you for Anime North is hitting you. Yeah, that's fair. Oh my god. That's okay. No, I can just I can just stand on nothing. You did good, Tally. You deserve praise. Yes. Got it. Tally Zora to speak. The signal is about to go offline. This is Admiral Hangel. We're in your debt. Hardware blocks offline. We are free. Free. Jump out. Yes! That's not jump. That's land. I, I told you to jump. There you go. Took you long enough. Lie. We have disabled the dreadnought's drive core. All weapons and barriers are offline. Ah, oh, that a prime? Alert. It's something. Yeah, bring it. I'll fight it. Okay, I wanted one big thing, not a bunch of small things. It's a big thing. Boing boing. Garris, why is your shotgun cooldown? I, I, what? You can I shoot the it. rocket out of midair. Oh. Interesting. 
Like, that's what I did. I went to shoot the enemy, but I hit the rocket, and it blew up. Oh. Oh. Hi. Garrus, thank you. <laughs> Garrus, thank you. I imagine that's how it happened in combat. Just like somehow you have ability to freeze time, you just yell at Garrus, and he's like, fine. Like, God damn it. <laughs> What do you mean setting up turrets? Geth aren't allowed to have turrets. Geth Prime. Okay, that's a bigger target than I thought. <laughs> you wanted one. I did. Doesn't mean I regret my decision. However, Geth Primes are fun. Graveborn! Welcome. Graveborn's here. Hi, Graveborn. Garrus, have... You gave us... You haven't had it to have armor piercing. How dare you? Ah, oh, Garrus. Well, did you turn it on? I did. You can tell on the front of my gun. I think you're getting shot from cover, Brandon. <laughs> mm, nah, nah. There's something right up next to you again, by the way. It's called Garrus. No, there's a prime right beside him. A hunter, sorry. It's on the ramp. It's on the ramp. You can see it. <laughs> Guys, you come need on. to get better battle awareness. Come on. <laughs> I guess Prime can get its shields back. Yep. Hopefully you're, that you're... grip kiddo didn't annoy you too much. I'll be honest, the uh, grave, the only thing that annoyed me was whenever he did that weird slurping thing. The rest of that was fine, but that slurping thing and then saying like that we sm he smelled something or whatnot, that was annoying. I'm glad you understood what he was talking about. Yep, I was playing Minecraft earlier this morning. Ah, uh, I see. Made myself a nice little beach house. Nice! Partly why I was asking you for help with getting bridge. bridge stuff. Yeah! I'll be honest though, I hate Bedrock Edition. It sucks. Yeah, no, that's why I'm like... Uh, Graveborn, thank you for extending the invitation through Brandon to join the Minecraft realm. I don't do... Bedrock. I don't do Bedrock. I do Java. Uh, I especially do Java because of, uh, my friend has walked me through getting some client mods up and running, so... Client mods? They only affect me, so, um... Using CurseForge, I have it up and running that I have shaders, a mod pack, and a minimap up on the realm. Oh, very nice. And the minimap lets me like mark waypoints and stuff like that to find exits and areas easier. <laughs> Unfortunately, Bedrock is all PlayStation has. Hmm. Yeah, and he's a yeah. PlayStation player. Oh. Which also means I can't that, say like, much because I played on the PlayStation for the majority of my time video gaming, but you know, I'm mostly PC now, if that counts. Yeah. For anything. PC is great. PlayStation is also great. There's nothing wrong with it. But if oh. you want to play Java, uh, PC is what's needed. There's another Prime. Oh, interesting. You should start murdering him. But there's also a turret behind him. Bam, bam, bam. Tally! Get up. 